a group of University of Hawaii students and elementary through college educators on a 20-minute long boat ride across a glassy Kaneohe Bay. The destination? Moku o Loe, or Coconut Island, and the Hawaii Institute of Marine Biology. Once there, the group begins to collect algae in what is ultimately a search for a different way to teach math. The field trip is part of a science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM, program out of the University of Hawaii at Manoa, funded by federal, state, and native Hawaiian grants. The program, started in 2009, is called the Ethnomathematics and in STEM Institute. Um, ethnomathematics is basically, um, I like to see it as practical math. Um, it's math applied in our culture around us. Like to relate math outside of the classroom to like your culture, whether it's our own Hawaiian backyard or anything you love, music. It's basically finding mathematics in our natural environment, um, in our natural surroundings. Like Kaneohe Bay. The group finds snapping shrimp and other creatures in the algae collected there. They listen for the snapping sound of the shrimp and test to see if it gets louder and more frequent when a predator, like a crab, is introduced. This leads to a discussion on the mathematical aspects of sound waves. Amplitude, period, wavelength, frequency. And why should we care about these? Why should we care about these mathematical concepts? It's because it impacts our coral reefs and our, our backyard. These types of connections are stressed in each class and every field trip. Analytic geometry in the fish ponds at Mokoia Island Fishing Village to hiking down from the highest cliffs in the world to Kalaupapa and seeing linear functions and symmetries and intercepts and axes. When students of any age experience these connections firsthand, it can open up a world that many spend their lives avoiding. <laughs> the world of math and science. Um, actually, I used to hate math. I didn't even care for math. I thought it was so boring. But after taking ethnomathematics courses and participating in the program, the students say math is no longer just books and paper. It was actually a way of life, and it's a way for you to conjure your thoughts up and explain human interaction and explain natural things happening in the world. So it really opened up my eyes. As a student, it makes me want to come to class. <laughs> and uh, um, as a career, I want to go into education. So I hope that I can be able to inspire my students just as I've been inspired to take learning outside of the classroom. For teachers, the year-long institute allows them to experience different STEM teaching strategies firsthand and the importance of teaching through relatable real-life scenarios. They find it more enjoyable, I mean they're more engaged and they want to do more math rather than just, you know, recess. <laughs> Generous support is provided by the National Science Foundation, Hawaii Pacific Islands Campus Compact, U.S. Department of Education, and the University of Hawaii Diversity and Equity Initiative. The Ethnomathematics and STEM Institute partners with Native Hawaiian and other community and research-based organizations to develop projects that focus on strategies that support current and future STEM educators, including the University of Hawaii System, State of Hawaii Department of Education, Hawaii P20 Partnerships for Education, Pacific American Foundation, Pacific Resources for Education and Learning, and Polynesian Voyaging Society.